Safety Xavier McKinney's first NFL regular season got off to a bad start, but it almost had a storybook finish. McKinney missed the first 10 games of the 2020 campaign because of a foot injury. But with the New York Giants needing a victory in their regular season finale to have a chance to make the NFL playoffs, the former Alabama defensive back picked off Dallas Cowboys quarterback Andy Dalton in the end zone with 1.15 to play. McKinney's first NFL interception sealed a 23-19 victory. McKinney had thought the Cowboys were going to pick him at no. 17 in the 2020 NFL draft. Instead, Dallas took Oklahoma wide receiver C.D. Lamb, and McKinney fell to the second round, where the Giants got him with the 36th selection. I think everything came full circle for me, McKinney said during an appearance on the All Things Covered podcast with Patrick Peterson and Bryant McFadden. That was the team that was supposed to come get me. The team talked to me a lot, and they liked me when I was interviewing and all that stuff. Having that pick against the Cowboys was great because going into that game, I knew what we needed to do to have a chance to even make the playoffs. I knew it was a big game going in. Ellipsis. For me, I take it personal every time I play the Cowboys for the rest of my career. That's just how I feel about that situation. After beating the Cowboys, the Giants needed the Philadelphia Eagles to defeat the Washington football team in the final game of the 2020 regular season to secure a postseason spot as the NFC East champions. It was a great feeling. I was happy, McKinney said. But then I had to turn around and watch the damn Eagles do what they did. Y'all know how that situation went. But it is what it is. We came out, we did what we had to do. Ultimately, we didn't get to where we wanted to be. We'll get there next year. Philadelphia quarterback Jalen Hurts, a former Alabama teammate of McKinney's, had two six-yard touchdown runs in the second quarter to give the Eagles a 14-10 lead against Washington. But Hertz didn't play in the fourth quarter with the Eagles trailing 17-14. Philadelphia coach Doug Peterson played Nate Sudfield, who'd spent most of the season as the third-string QB. The Eagles' 20-14 defeat prompted post-game questions of Peterson's intent. While Washington needed the victory to qualify for the playoffs, the loss moved Philadelphia's first choice in the 2021 NFL draft from 10th to 6th. Yes, I was coaching to win, Peterson said during his post-game press conference. Yes, that was my decision solely. Nate has obviously been here for four years, and I felt he deserved an opportunity to get some snaps. McKinney still carries a grudge against the Eagles for the way they lost. I would be lying to you if I said I didn't, man, McKinney said. I'm not going to lie. It was tough. Ellipsis. That was my first pick.